Good morning and welcome to the boatnet. I've got a that uh, Pied Piper 28 uh, that I've got down at Oriental. I'm having it uh, hauled up here. Um, Triton Yacht Services is bringing it up here in a couple of days. So I got a couple of things I got to get ready for it, um, cleaning out a place to put it and all. The ryegrass coming up out there. Looks nice and pretty this time of year. Anyway, I've cleaned out a little spot right here where I bring in boats once in a while. Um, that one out yonder is getting scrapped. Anyway, I was a little bit short on jack stands. I had a Ranger 30 and I sold it and I sold the, I had six nice jack stands that I let go with the boat because the person that bought it was going to put it on the hard for a while and work on it. So anyway, I've got, uh, I had one like this, which is, I mean, needs a coat of paint, but it's good. But that's the only one I had that, that size. <clears throat> so I made another one. I had some galvanized uh, fence post material. So I uh, welded one together here uh, yesterday. I've got a, I had a, a, a few of the tops, so good with that. So that'll give me the two that I, the little bit taller ones that I needed for the back. And then I've got, got three of these that are a bit shorter, but they will extend up enough to, to work. Um, be a little bit close, but they should work. I may extend the pipe about maybe four inches just to give me just a little bit more working height. But but they'll work. So I've got three of those. So that, that gives me my four my four primary jack stands, you know, to rest the boat on. Of course I've got some cribbing, some blocking here too, you know, for the keel to sit on. But those four jack stands will get my uh, you know, get it off the trailer, off the delivery trailer, hydraulic trailer. But I've got a couple of more that I'm going to work on. I'd like to have three on each side plus one in the bow. This one here, I'm going to modify that top right there to fit up under the the bow of the boat to support the, you know, the very front of the boat a little bit. So that gives me five there. And then, like I said, I've got two more. Uh, right at my welding shop here. I'm going to modify this morning. Um, they're uh, not tall enough, so I'm going to extend them about probably about 14 inches um, to give me a little bit of support more midship. Um, like I say, the keel carries all the weight. The jack stands are just to keep it from tilting over. Um, and then you, know, you chain them together so they don't slip. But uh, I just feel a little bit better with three on each side than two, uh, since I'm going to be in and out of the boat a lot working on it. So that's what I'm going to do today is modify, I guess, three three of these jack stands to work. And then, like I say, the boat's going to be coming in in a few days. These are the two stands I'm going to modify. And, uh, and the theme of always trying to use what I've got on hand before I buy anything. Uh, I'm gonna take and just, uh, let's see here. Sunshine bright this morning, it's a beautiful day for late November. I'm gonna just extend that and get this a little bit wider angle here. I'm gonna just add a, a section of pipe and weld it right there just like that and uh, that'll do for my for my third one it's, uh, it's like I said the, the four will carry it will hold it this is just a little bit extra insurance these are not my favorite stands but I've got them so um, <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do if you look here at the top uh, this pipe you may notice there it's got a smaller hole um, there's actually a pipe inside of this pipe to make the interior hole a bit smaller and the reason for that is I've got these hardened um, threaded rods 
These are seven eighths, but they're like extremely strong. Very, very, very strong. Um, and the smaller hole was to accept that smaller uh, threaded rod. And again, I'm just using up some stuff I've got on hand. So I use that threaded rod with the nut and the washer there to, uh, to you know, to where I can, you know, run that up and down uh, to adjust my height. And then I'll just, you know, cut me a pad and make me a bracket to, to go on the end of it. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. Just uh, do a little bit of grinding and welding. Cut this outside. Catch anything on fire. This thing is pretty loud with that diamond blade on it, so I'm going to put my protection. Put on my glasses. Close my eyes. <laughs> All right, now that diamond blade, you can see, you can see it leaves a pretty strong burr. It's like a like a razor blade, basically. I just take my uh, grinding wheel, a grinder, and, and get rid of that burr. Uh, give me a you know a clean surface to weld. I'm gonna be stick welding these with just my old buzz box, using my little flat grinder, flat this to get rid of the paint around that edge there. Make it a little bit easier to weld. Uh, the bearings are going out on the uh, cooling van on it. Uh, so when I first crank it up, it makes a lot of noise, but then it cool, calms down and quiets after just a few minutes. Need to take it apart and see about replacing the fan. But, you know, this stuff, like I say, it's close to 40 years old, so got a little bit of a head cold today. Anyway, so I'm going to see what I can do here. So what I did there was just tacked it in three places to keep it lined up. And that actually looks really good right there. That's nice and straight. And now I can lay it over on its side and do some good good welding, make sure it's good, good penetration and all that. I'll just lay it down like that right there. And then I've got a good, uh, good way to weld there. And then just roll it. see that or not it's bright sunshine it's hard to see not special but it gets the job done that's welded nice and hot and deep burns through any crud or rust or whatever and uh, gives you a good solid weld that's good enough for that one I won't even grind or anything on that. You know, it's a good, good heavy weld. Thing in the world, just a little paint. I'm 
now because of that pipe inside the pipe there to make this smaller, and that fits relatively snug, not snug, but, you know, uh, tight enough so it stays straight. Uh, I still need to round the corners and sand the edges a little bit, but then you get the idea there. Um, gives me a, a pad there to rest against the boat and spread, the, spread it out a little bit. And uh, as you can see, these just, you know, they, they, just, they just sit on that bolt. Uh, like I said, I may eventually drill a hole and um, pin them, but I, but I may not. Cause these are these are kind of rarely going to be used but what i did i just put in, took a piece of angle iron and uh knocked the corners back a little bit drilled a couple of holes in it and then welded that piece of two inch pipe in it and i took and notched that angle iron so that that pipe would come over to center uh and the reason for that is is because i didn't want a, a hole in there that this uh threaded rod could get jammed up in and maybe puncture the boat you know go like go wedge its way through and puncture the boat so the angle iron itself is, is stops up the end of the hole um, anyway a larger piece of angle iron would have done the same thing but. so there you go that's uh, quick and dirty but it works and again just using up using up drop I've got on hand um, for it to work I didn't didn't have to buy anything there to make guys all, all just stuff I had laying around the shop um, even the plywood I had a, I had a strip of plywood that was uh, 11 and 8 inches wide by about two and a half feet so that got the my two pads out of it that's just some birch plywood you know, like cabinet grade plywood 13 ply 11 ply something um, but that'll hold up long enough for what I need it for I'll probably put a coat of paint on them Make them hold up a little better. Just using a piece of uh, two inch pipe here to to draw me a radius in the corner there for cutting off, nicking those corners off a little bit. Okay, got the corners rounded. Might have to take them to my other shop to uh, round over the edges. I think my router's set up over in the shop. So, come over there and round the edges. May even put a coat of paint on them since it's nice and sunny today.